Disney friends and welcome back to Do Whip a Day, a place where we talk Disney. And today we are talking a lot of Disney because we have a very special announcement. Would you like to say what the announcement is? You tell them. We're going to Disney. We are so excited. And I know this doesn't come as a surprise to any of you who have been watching the channel because I've mentioned it several times in recent videos. But we are. We're going to Disney for the first time in, gosh, I don't know how long. Um, for her, it's been at least six years, maybe six, longer, yeah. six or seven years. Um, and for me, it's been a while, too. Um, but this trip, let me tell you, it is such a blessing and such a miracle because this trip was actually gift to us. <laughs> totally unexpected and and. I'm just so humble. I'm just so humble. I know. By it it um. is such a gift. I mean, such a blessing. Um, we have a true fairy godmother out there is all I can say. And I still get emotional when I think about it. Um, it's hard to believe this is really happening. Just the, the um, kindness and the caring. Um, I'm sorry. It's okay. That you know, was, it's, it's true. That was put into this. And... Um, I still don't know what to say. I, 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 I'm I speechless as far as it goes. I know. I don't know how to express my gratitude. If if you're watching, my fairy godmother is watching, please know that you have been such a great blessing in our lives. And you have already, the trip hasn't even happened yet. You have brought so much joy to, to this family. Um, and just thank you from the bottom of our heart. Thank you so, so much. Um, we didn't, like I said, we're speechless still. We don't know what to say. It how do we say thank you? Exactly. <laughs> how do we say thank you enough? Um, it doesn't even feel real. This is just like the biggest thing that's ever happened to me. I mean, it's literally a dream come true. It's amazing. Um, so thank you so much. I am so absolutely thrilled. And we're going to be spending some girl time. That's together. right. It gives us our girl time together. Um, so, funny story, though. So, we're going on our girls' trip, and um, my brother, not to be outdone, decided, once he found out we were going on a girls' trip, that he was going to take my dad on a boys' trip the same week that we're going. So, it's still two separate trips, but they're, like, doing their own thing, and we're doing our own thing. <laughs> So, um, I told them, I said, it's got to be a competition to see who can have the best trip, <laughs> except we already, like, have one up them because ours was given to us by a fairy godmother, so ours already has a little extra pixie dust. <laughs> um, but it'll be fun to, um, to, you know, go back and forth. And, of course, we'll probably see each other while we're there. Um, but this is definitely very much a girl's trip. It's our girl's time because we just need that. We, um, it's amazing that somebody saw how much we needed that. Um, so, yes, I'm so excited about that. Um, and it's coming soon. I know, it's coming up very soon. <laughs> so, where we'll be staying is Disney's Art of Animation Resort in a Little Mermaid room. Um, I'm so excited to stay there because I've never, we've never stayed at the Art of Animation mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. um, what are you looking forward to? I, 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 we've, we've gone on um, and looked at the rooms, you know, on, online and everything and I just, they're so cute. They they're are, so they're cute. adorable. Like, I love how um, the shower, like, if you look at pictures of the Art Animation Resort, the shower looks like Ariel's Treasure Cove and I'm just excited to see it in person. <laughs> I've tried not to see too many spoilers, but it's hard to, yeah. to um, contain yourself and not look for everything that's out there. I'm so excited because there has been so much added since the last time that I went. Like and, a ton. Um, and I know she's worked hard to like make um, the, well not the boarding pass yet, right? Not yet. That'll be the morning of. And, Fingers crossed. And procedures have changed so, you know, I'm kind of out of the loop on that and everything yeah. so she's kind of the the um, cruise director. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud. I'm happy to do it. It brings me joy. The planning is half the fun. Um, so we'll be staying for four nights and we yeah, have five days in the park. Um, our first park day is going to be our arrival day, and we'll be at the Magic Kingdom that day, of course. Um, our next day is going to be at Epcot. No, no, Animal Kingdom. Our next day is Animal Kingdom, I think. Hold on. Let me look it up real quick. I'm just going to follow her. <laughs> <laughs> I should have this memorized, but we, we switched around some of our park days. So, Oh, actually, so our first day is Magic Kingdom. Our second day is Hollywood Studios. Our third day is Animal Kingdom. Our fourth day is at Epcot. And, of course, our last day we end at the Magic Kingdom. But we do have the park hopper, so we'll probably be hopping around a little bit while we're there. Which park are you looking most forward to? 
Oh goodness. I love I love all of them. I mean, really, there are things about each of them that I love yeah. and I don't Magic Kingdom is the most magical, I think. Oh, it definitely you know. is. You you can't go to Disney without going to Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Or at least we can't. Yeah. Um, but you also like food a lot. I and do. so <laughs> Epcot will be having their Flower and Garden Festival yeah. still while we're there. And I think she and I both are like super excited about trying the different food booths. And that's exciting. That's and we've kind of I won't say we've adopted a new eating plan, but, but there are some things that we're doing differently. differently yeah, yeah, just healthier, um, mm -hmm. well, maybe not even healthier foods, but just foods more suited. We have talked about how, um, and researched about how different kinds of foods can help release chemicals in your brain that can help with, like, my trichotillomania. And so we're trying to eat foods that are more aligned with that. Just to see, um, you know, we're not medical people by any means, but we're just seeing if it makes a difference. And, it, and it, mm -hmm. to me, it seems logical, but there has to be some sort of connection. Oh, yeah, for sure. But we're saying all that to say, you know, we're going to try some of those foods. Too. Oh, we were, for sure. <laughs> um, do you remember any of the foods? We looked them up. Do you remember any that you want to try? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Oh, there was some Moroccan, uh, the, the sh sh Shakshuka. Shakshuka. Shakshuka mm -hmm. at the Moroccan booth, um, or the Middle Eastern booth. That's some of my favorite kind of food. Yeah, yeah it's so good. I want to try the avocado toast, because yes, I've heard yes. wonderful things about the avocado toast, and we love avocado, oh, yes. so Very we're excited much. about that. The boys don't. Yes. <laughs> uh, it gives us a chance. <laughs> that's right. Um, and I'm excited for you to experience Hollywood Studios again, now that they have all kinds of new stuff, mm -hmm. because she's never experienced. Toy Story Land or Star Wars mm -hmm. Land or any of that. Um, so there's that. And then I'm excited for you to go to Animal Kingdom because of Flight of Passage and Pandora. She has talked about Flight of Passage and um, Soarin'. I haven't ridden the new Soarin' since it's been Oh, upgraded. yeah. She hasn't. Soarin' around the world. So And there's also um, Frozen. You haven't done Frozen yet. You haven't done... Um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I haven't done that either. I haven't done Slinky Dog. I haven't. So there's so much we haven't done. Um, and I'm really hoping that we can get a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass when we go. And I know it's a possibility that we won't. But, you know, I'm trying to look on the bright side. If we don't get a boarding pass, for us, that actually is okay because there are so many things that we haven't experienced yet. Mm -hmm. um, so we still could miss Rise of the Resistance and still do a whole bunch of new stuff. Um, and, you know, if it has to go to, if it can't go to us, it might as well go to somebody who maybe that's the only new thing they haven't experienced, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, I'll try to, I'm going to try to be positive about it if we don't get it. All right, well, we'll have fun. It doesn't matter what. Oh, yeah. I mean. Well, just being together is going to be wonderful. Yes, so. Yes, so. So, yeah, so those are the parks that we're going to. We have um, quite a few dining reservations. I'm not sure that we'll actually end up going to all of these places. Just because, you know, at Disney in Florida in the summer, it gets really hot. And that's just a lot of food if you have a dining reservation every day. Um, and then, you know, also trying to watch my food budget a little bit. Um, but I will tell you the reservations that we have. Um, and then after um, the trip, when we did like a trip recap, we can tell you what we actually ended up doing, what we chose not to do, and all that. So, the first reservation that we have is at Narcoosie's on our arrival day. Um, I think I just really like the atmosphere of Narcoosie's. It's at the Grand Floridian. Um, it's like on the water and I have a, the reservation is pretty late at night. So, um, it should be dark outside and we should be able to see the lights at Magic Kingdom over the water. Um, they have seafood, which you like. <laughs> they really like. Um, I would really like to try the um, shrimp and grits there. I've heard good things about the shrimp and grits. And also, I don't think you know this, but they have scallops. Oh, my favorite. She loves scallops. Um, so, Narcoosie's is one. Uh, another reservation that I, we have is Whispering Canyon Cafe. And that actually is a reservation where the boys will be coming to join us for that reservation. Um, I've eaten there before. Well, we've both eaten, we've there, eaten before, there before. Yeah. Um, and we really enjoy it. It's just, it's, it's so fun. funny. <laughs> I hope that they're still doing some of that fun um, shtick <laughs> yeah, when we go. So that's lots of fun. Another reservation that we have is for Sanaa, specifically for the bread service. Yeah, she's never had the bread service. And I think that's, we're going to go all out, all bread service. Yeah, that, yeah, we're going there just for the bread service. Um, And she loves bread and spreads and things like that. I think she's going to be very surprised. I'm excited for her to try the bread service. 
And the last reservation that we have, I still cannot believe that we were able to snag this reservation, but we're going to be our guest. Um, I can't wait for her to see the inside of the Be Our Guest building and um, the atmosphere is just absolutely amazing. The ballroom, the snow falling, everything is fantastic. It sounds so good. So which dining reservation are you most excited for? Um, I think Sanaa. I mean, Sanaa, yeah. that's, that's not anything to be ashamed of. <laughs> Sanaa is a great place. I know we ate at Boma one time years and years and years ago, yeah. and it was so good. It was delicious. I, I love the resort, too, the, mm -hmm. um, being able to go and just, well, we we will go to resorts just to look around, you know, sometimes. Oh, yeah, resort hopping. That's that we part know. of the fun. And um, just love seeing the animals and stuff. Yes. So. Awesome. Yeah. Um, something that I'm really looking forward to in the parks for the first time is um, pin trading. So I have never pin traded before. My pin collection and all is like a new hobby. So I have my pin trading gear here ready to go. Um, this was gifted to me by the lovely Leslie from Leslie Through the Looking Glass. So I've got my lanyard ready to go with some pins already on it to trade. Um, and then I also have my little pin folio full of some traders. Um, so I'm just, I'm super excited to pin trade. I think it's going to be an excellent opportunity just to like start conversations in the parks and get to know people and also find some fun pins. And I've got my Star Lord Outlaw shirt. <laughs> she does. She has her Star, Star Lord Outlaw shirt. I told her she has to wear that when we go to Disney. And I will. <laughs> Yay. I'm excited. Um, another thing that we did is that um, we are so grateful to the cast members who make all the magic possible because without them, you know, there would be a no, um, there would be no getting on attractions, there would be no eating food, there would be no, no none of that. They make the world go round. They make the <laughs> Disney world go round. Um, and especially since they've been through so much this past year with the pandemic, some of them getting laid off for a while and coming back and um, being unsure about their jobs and um, just everything that they have sacrificed for us this past year. And also, like, I'm sure that people, some people have not been so nice to them because of the regulations and rules that Disney has. Um, so, we got little gifts to give to the cast members. Um, so, we just have these little notes that say, thanks for making this the most magical place on earth. Love from the Bell family. And there's a little button attached. So, there's like all different characters. There's um, Remy and Pinocchio. You get the idea. But, yeah. So, I'm excited to give those to the cast members just to let them know that we do appreciate them and what they do in being there. Um, so, we are going to be traveling by car. Um, I love road trips, and um, it's a lot, it's fun, a fun time just to, like, talk to each other and get to know each other and connect with each other. So, um, just in case you're wondering, the boys on their trip, they're going to be staying at Saratoga Springs, kind of doing their own thing. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if they've got any dining reservations or anything like that. They're kind of last minute folks, so they're... Okay. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. real laid back, so they'll probably just, you know, I don't know, go putt-putt or you know, hang out at the pool a lot. Because they're not going to be in the parks at, at yeah, many days. Yeah, so they're not going to be yeah. in the parks as like we are um, most days. So, so, yeah, so that is our big trip announcement. We are so excited and so very grateful. So grateful. And it just can't get here fast enough. I'm so excited. I know, I know. I <laughs> yes. Um, but there will be more trip-related content coming in the next few weeks over the summer. Um, there will be like a packing video. You'll see some of the outfits that I'm taking to Disney. And I'm going to try to vlog-ish parts of our trip. I don't want to be like attached to my camera the whole time. Like I want to experience this time with my mama. Um, but I do want to also, you know, it's fun to make videos. So yeah. I'll um, make some videos. I don't know that they'll be like formal day by day vlogs, but I will have some kind of content coming out about our trip when we get back. Um, and of course we'll do a recap for you guys. But thank y'all so much for watching. Would you like to add anything? I'm just so ready and thank you again, Fairy Godmother. We yes. <laughs> Um, thank you. <laughs> you have truly, truly touched our hearts and our lives. Thank you so much. You're very special. Very bright. Bright spot. <laughs> right. Sunshine. You're sunshine. 
um so yeah um let us know in the comments below if you have any questions um we um yeah, let us know if you have any questions. Let us know what you're looking forward to um, about our trip. You know, is there anything that you know about Narcusi that you like? Is there any tips you have for getting Rise of the Resistance? Just go crazy in the comments, guys. Be nice, but go crazy. Um, I hope you guys always remember there's always a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. Magic happens every day. Who knew that this trip would have ever happen in a million years. Magic is real. Magic happens. Um, so don't lose hope, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.